Porter, say hi. Uh, hi. <coughs> Gusen, say hi. Hi. Gracian, show the camera. Where is Mistletoe this morning? He's, he's in the mirror. Oh my goodness. How did he get up there? <laughs> Mistletoe. Grayson can't reach it. No, he can't reach it. Do you think he climbed up there or do you think he flew up there? He climbed up there. Oh, you think he climbed the stones? How did he get all the way up there? Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Do you see the elf? Uh, you see mistletoe? Uh, 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 oh, uh, that mistletoe. He's been all over our house, huh? One yeah. day he was riding in your fire truck. Yeah. He's been in one of the stockings. He was in the Christmas tree. He was hanging yeah. above the oven with the utensils. Uh, he's been everywhere. Uh, he's, uh, a, he's up on the mirror. And now he's up on the mirror. Oh uh, my goodness. Uh, Porter? Yes. Is that a kid in a car? Beep beep. A kid in a car. It says car race. Help the car reach the finish line. Uh, uh. What is that, Porter? Uh, is that a kitty? Yeah. Meow, meow. Yeah. Kitty. Porter is still obsessed with cats. Good morning, you guys. I just wanted to show Grayson. Loves going and trying to find the elf every morning. I think it's so cute that he is so into it now. It took a couple days, but now he is into the elf. And no, Porter, we're not watching a show this morning. No, we'll watch it later. Go put it back. Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty then. We're gonna go play in the playroom, okay? How about we pop a dinosaur? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go pop a dinosaur. So what is today? Twelfth days. Yeah, this is the twelfth day. It's December twelfth. You know the twelve days of Christmas thing? Yeah. Yeah. So pop number twelve. Grayson has also been loving the dinosaur advent calendar. He looks forward to it every day. Ooh, what did you get today? A green dinosaur. A green dinosaur. Wow. The only problem with it is he gets excited to pop it and then the dinosaur comes out and he's just like, meh. <laughs> so, anyway. We've been counting down on all of our countdown calendars. Porter, come see the dinosaur that we got. Yeah, put this up or Porter's going to try to get it. Grayson, show Porter the dinosaur that we got today. A green Dinosaur. Wow, Porter, what do you think? What is that? A dinosaur? What does a dinosaur say? Roar. Roar. Oh. Are we red? Yeah. Oh, oh no, you threw the dinosaur. So we're just hanging out this morning. We just finished breakfast. We're just gonna hang out today, maybe get some stuff done. We need to rake leaves, but I don't know if it's gonna be warm enough. Anthony needs a haircut, so we'll see. Um, but tonight, uh, like I said, mentioned in a previous vlog, my sisters and I and my mom are all going to a concert tonight. Um, it's part of a birthday gift for my sister Kelly. We are gonna go see Pentatonix in concert. They are coming to Columbus today, and today only. And it's kind of crazy, I was looking online because I was just curious like where all they're going. They're only playing 16 shows because it's only Christmas songs so they can only do it for like the month of December. And they're basically just staying in like the north, east part of the US, except for a couple shows in Texas at the very end. But it's kind of crazy that only 16 shows in Ohio and Columbus is one of them. So it's just like meant to be. So 
we are gonna go do that. We're gonna go to dinner beforehand, so I will definitely try to vlog some of that. But before that, we are just hanging out. And oh, I wanted to show you guys. So I've been looking for this for a while. I wanted like a uh, milk and cookie set for Santa. Um, and so I was looking for like a plate and something and my mom and sister found this at Kohl's yesterday and so they got it for me. It's not exactly what I was looking for. I was kind of looking for a bigger plate, but this is what they found. So it's a little plate and mug set. It says cookies for Santa and then Santa's milk. So I think that'll be so cute for us to put out for Santa. So yeah, I was super excited for, um to get that and so we'll start to put that out on Christmas Eve night. I think we're gonna do one more Christmas morning at my parents' house and then from now on I think we'll just do it at our house. Hopefully by next Christmas we'll be in a new house with a bigger living room and kitchen that can uh, fit everyone, so we'll see. You say hi? Uh, Where's the dinosaur? Uh, Where did it go? Uh, oh, is it on the floor? See, that's usually where they end up, is just on the floor. And then I step on them. Uh, Should we go play? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. How are you, Another Christmas song? No. Can you sing Deck the Halls? Deck the Halls with bells of holly. Tis a season to be jolly. Sing another song. Let's sing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. And the berries are the nose. And the yellow sign. You know they were saying. Porter's just trying to repeat Grace. <laughs> Just following him around. Dance with Porter. song can you sing about about holly jolly christmas about holly jolly christmas it's the best time of the year i don't know if you don't and everyone <laughs> has a holly jolly and everyone can do <laughs> have a holly jolly christmas Ever you like down the street. 
say hello to Freddy No and Happy Birthday. Kiss, kiss, so much for me. Bah, happy Christmas. Are you taking me to the Hope I shall be a happy Christmas this year. Yay! Good singing, Gray. Like this, yeah. They're staggering. Yeah, they're staggering them, and like if someone turns a lot. <laughs> Vlogging. <laughs> We're going to see Pentatonics. We're at our seats. We're gonna be right there. We're already playing Christmas music. So fun. Yeah. Hey guys, so I am back from the concert. It was so much fun. I took some pictures and videos. I will input them here. Before we went to the concert, we went to dinner and we went to a Brazilian steakhouse and we had no idea like what we were getting ourselves into. Let me see if I can put this camera down just so that you're not like right in my face, hang on. So like I was saying, we went out to dinner beforehand at a Brazilian steakhouse. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into at this point because we just wanted to try somewhere new. We had all never been to this place or heard of it before. So we walked in and sat down and the lady explained it to us like she, like we knew why we were there and we were like wait what and she was basically like so this is a buffet all you can eat you pay this set price and they come around with meat at your table and there's a salad buffet and yeah that's it and we were just like what <laughs> so basically she had to like dumb it down for us to explain it so there was a salad buffet all you can eat with all the toppings, all the fixings you could eat. And they also had like sides, they had pasta, they had um, like Brazilian style foods, they had like weird circled cheeses and they had fried corn and they had, um, they had mashed potatoes and just like any side you could think of. So not only that, but they also had meat. And so I guess the big thing of this was just meat, which I guess it's a steakhouse, so that makes sense. So basically you sit at your table and you have a thingy and it literally looks like one of those time stoppers with the sand going down in between the two, except this was just like a wooden time thing. One end was green and one end was red. And uh, when you wanted people to come to your table and offer you meat, you put the green side up. And when you didn't want any more, you put the red side up. So you put the green side up and it was like people would swarm your table. They'd have chunks of meat just on these poles. And they would tell you what the meat is and they'd say, do you want any or not? Um, and so they had like beef, they had steak, beef tip steak they had chicken bone in they had spicy chicken they had a ham they had chicken heart so they had seafood like lots and lots of things for you to um, try and so we get a little bit of everything and we would just kind of pick and choose they had a sausage they just had tons and then when we were tired of people swimming our table we would just put it on red and they would leave us alone and then if we wanted some meat like later on we saw that they had some um, fried pineapple so we put our thing on green so that the fried pineapple would come by our table so it was really cool I have seen restaurants like this on YouTube had no idea there was one in Columbus and I've never been to one before it was so cool we were saying we have to go back and take all of of the boys because they would love it and they would love all the meat so it was really really cool and then when you were done totally done you would just take the time stamper and just put it on its side and then they knew you were done so it was really cool we had a really awesome experience tried a lot of Brazilian-esque food um, also they had a drink menu and they had a Brazilian like style drink which is like the drink of Brazil apparently Started with a C, I have no idea how to pronounce it, I'm not gonna try, um, but it was so good, it was so sweet. Basically it was like alcoholic sugar cane mixed with lime and something else, I can't remember. Super, super good, you could definitely taste the sugar cane. I loved it, it was sweet. Don't know if Anthony would like it because he doesn't like sweet drinks, but I loved it, it was great. And they had all different flavors, so they had raspberry, strawberry, passion fruit, it was so, so good. 
So we all tried that. So it was really great, a night of firsts and never done that before. Also, we were celebrating my sister Kelly's birthday, so we told them all that it was her birthday. So I got this clip here of them coming in and singing happy birthday. They sang some Brazilian songs, so I'll input that here. <laughs> happy birthday. Woo! It was kind of embarrassing because they were really, really loud. They had some bongo or drum or something. Anyway, super fun. So after we finished that, we went just across the street to where the concert was. So it was a great location where the restaurant was to where the concert was. So we went inside the concert and we had so, so much fun at the concert. I took videos and pictures. We all got Pentatonix t-shirts, which is super fun. I will uh, show you, I'm wearing mine right now actually. I came home. So here it is. I don't know if you could see it, but this is it, the Pentatonix. Um, this one says Columbus, because they were here. And then on the back, it has all the tour dates. Um, I guess this was like uh, just a Christmas tour. So they're only doing 16 um, places. So they're really not going a lot, and they're only doing the month of December, which makes sense, because it was only Christmas songs. But it was really awesome. They are very, very talented. They're an acapella group. If you've never heard of Pentatonix, they sing just with their voices. They don't use instruments. And so they're very, very talented. And there's five of them. So it was super fun. They were funny. They sang all sorts of Christmas songs. They sang one or two songs that weren't Christmas, but was mostly Christmas. Um, and yeah, it was really fun. Apparently it was a sold out crowd. Um, we all had a great time. It's great when you go to a concert and you know like all the songs. And since they were doing Christmas songs, we knew like all the songs. So it was super fun. It was a great time. And now we're home. So I'm just gonna close out this vlog. It was such a great time. Anthony stayed back with the kids. I guess he had a little bit of a hard time with Porter. Poor Porter, he is having such a rough time when I leave him. He is so attached to me and anytime he sees me leave, he's just miserable, like almost the whole time I'm gone. Um, if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to help with that separation anxiety, let me know. We are going to the doctor, to the pediatrician on Thursday, so I'm gonna ask him if he has any ideas, but Poor Porter, I just feel so bad. I don't know if it, this is his age. I feel like this is just his personality because he's always been very attached to me. Grayson was never like this. He's always just like, bye mom, see ya. But Porter is not like that, so I feel so bad, poor baby. But Anthony had a good time with the boys. I'm so thankful to him that he watched the kids so I could go to this concert. It was loud. Gray would have liked the Christmas music, but I think he'd like it for like five minutes then he would have gotten bored. So super nice that I could have a night off be with my mom and my sisters and my sister-in-law. So it was super fun, just a girl's night. Um, and yeah, that was it. So let me know if you guys have ever seen Pentatonix. Um, if you haven't, I definitely suggest going when they go on their next tour. It was super, super fun. I would totally go see them again. So anyway, I'm gonna close out this vlog. Make sure to um, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, like this video. Lots more Christmas videos coming up. We have so many Christmas activities planned and I hope to vlog all of them. So you definitely don't wanna miss those. And I hope you guys like this video. Bye. One last thing I wanted to show you guys. This is what I did with the elf tonight. He's sleeping in the... Kleenex box. I did not come up with this on my own. I found it on Google. I think the boys will get a kick out of it tomorrow. Hopefully they realize like he's sleeping. I don't know, but super cute. I think it's hilarious.